Insomniac Games. New game. Of course we play a new game. Yeah, saving the slot. This what? slot. What slot is it? Slot one. That slot. <laughs> That's a slot everyone goes into. I know, what the hell? Damn, you slot one. Poor slot two and three get no action. <clears throat> it's actually kind of sad that I kind of know the story of this game pretty basically well. Mm -hmm. Thank you for using help desk technology. What the? Ooh, what are they looking at? The stars. Does he want to go fly away? Pretty much. He's just on a planet by himself. Mm -hmm. And here's the origins of Plank. He's just for now. <clears throat> so. Oh, they're not making them big. Oh, he's a reject? He's a reject. <clears throat> so where's the rest of the big ones? They went down in the hole. Mm. And he wasn't accepted? Yep. <clears throat> I, I, I feel for Clank. That's right. Are they going to just try and destroy him or something? So that's what he was supposed to be? Yes? Why yes? With a question mark. It's something that happens in later games. Oh, okay. Because it turns out that he's actually... Something else? A Time Lord? Well, that's crazy. Yeah, so he's a Doctor Who robot baby? Huh. Or that something like that? <clears throat> So pretty much like he somehow ended up there, but I don't I never played the future games yet, so I don't know the full details. All I know is that this is like the origin story just for convenience sake of starting the story. Okay. Alright, oh Yay. And I'm assuming He's oh. dead now. No, and you go and find him. Yep, yeah, because you're curious You're a curious little thing. Tasmanian Devil. I, that's what I decided. He's a Tasmanian Devil. He's a Lombax. Well, they have, yep, their species has a name. I just decided he's a Tasmanian Devil. Okay. Let's see. Do we have... Here we go. Subtitles. On? Yes. That'd be very nice. Very helpful. And we only have four health for the whole game. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, what's that thing? Little froggies? Yep. Let's see, what weapons do just the bomb was? Okay. So we pretty much have wrench and grenade. Ooh. So do you upgrade your stuff by obviously collecting bolts? Oh. There's none of that in this game. So is the bolts just like coins? Or is it like a currency? It's a currency. You use to buy new weapons and upgrades. Okay, so you're not building anything, you're just purchasing. Yeah. So and, and the upgrades are not actually to the weapons, they're strictly to upgrade your personal performance. Like because you can buy health upgrades, but it's like expensive beyond belief kind of crap. Yeah. G. Yeah, the company that sells everything named Dick Gadgetron. Dick Gadgetron? Yes, that's the president. Dick Dick Dr Gadgetron. Hey, I'm guessing that's just health. Oh, yeah. you can throw it like a boomerang? Yep, crouch and attack, and it's a boomerang strike. I want to know the physics on that. <laughs> the wrench was made out of 12 bo metal boomerangs. Oh, okay. That is perfect physics. Yes. I mean, and the boomerangs are made out of Wolverine. <sighs> Ow. Oh, there goes the perfect run. What, is there a run? Is there a trophy to never be hit? No. Good job, John. Everyone was excited to see a perfect run, and you screwed it up. You know how hard that would be for this game? Uh, it's probably very easy, because we're very good at this game. Let's see here. Go that way. Oh, what's that little guy? He's, oh, why are you being so mean to him? He's just waving at you. Yeah, he's gonna wave, wave his beating stick at me. Got three glove bombs. Throw a bomb at him while he tries to hit you with his tentacle of electricity. Electricals? Yes. 
and I'm thinking electric tentacles or where, testicles. Where, where is the rest of these citizens? Oh, the planet was abandoned. So this guy just lives here by himself. Yeah. With all these robots, I apparently want him dead for some reason. So which is probably why he's building the rocket to get away. I guess I'm just confused on why he was here to begin with, but maybe we find that out later. Later game. I'll, I'll let the story just tell that so. Yeah, it's a later game on that one. That's like actually the whole point of an entire game. Oh, uh, to explain why he was here to begin with? Yeah, why he's alone in the universe. Oh. Yeah. Because he's like the only one of the species that's left. Oh, okay. That's no. You know, that's a, like that is so overused. I'm the last of my species. But wait, there happens to be an opposite gender somewhere! Hidden. Like, why? I mean, it makes sense, I guess, that there is more, but who would ever really think and right away come to the conclusion, I'm the last of my species? The Jedi? Not, Jedi is not a species. It is a... it's a group. It, it's, an organ, it's an order. It, you can't be like, oh, I'm the race of Jedi. I mean, you can say I'm the race of Sith because the Sith, the Sith was a race. Even though it was a group? Yes, but the, the Sith is a race. Interesting. So, Jeez. does that mean that there could be a race known as Jedi as well? I guess, but they've never been found. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio. Everybody. Doesn't that guy like come out like and actually become like a playable character and stuff in later games? Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Is that Dick Garrison or whatever? Nope. My race, the blob. Different company. Hmm. But now, but he's the main antagonist. That easily. Where's the subtitles? But I don't know. Maybe he didn't actually accept them. I think it might have been for like in game dialogue and not for the cutscenes. That's stupid. There should be a cutscene dialogue too. Yeah. So what if you were deaf? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you really wanted subtitles. Yeah. I think every game has subtitles. A large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your. Well, I can use. I can just give you the brief down dirty of what he's doing. His race. Basically, screw the planet. Okay. So it's over. It's super polluted, and it's impossible to live there unless you somehow live off pollution. Oh. So pretty much, rather than just going to some random planet and inhabiting it, they're gonna destroy a bunch of other planets by literally ripping them apart mm -hmm. and piecing together a new planet. So they're taking the parts that they like of the planet, pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. Good luck getting Captain Quark nice. to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this... I thought Clank sounded different in the different information there. Even if I wanted to, but I can't... Well, this is like the first game, and normally... The first ones don't normally sound different, because they haven't gotten into their stride. Yeah. System. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. That, that was kind of fun, the platformer. Wherever it is. Hacking yeah. the power of Juju. For me? That is what I'm proposing. I've never played that. I've, I've played it. A little bit. And I don't know why, but for some reason I just got reminded of it. I don't know what it was. Because wasn't that a game before it was a Nickelodeon or whatever? Oh yeah, it had like three games before Nickelodeon made a TV show. Problem. Take care. I think the TV show route's better than the movie route. Mm -hmm. oh, this is great. Unless it's done right. I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your. Like Ratchet and Clank's getting a movie. Really? Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Oh, and, and it's being made by the same people who made reboots. The name's I don't know what that is. The old cartoon, the CGI cartoon on Tsunami. Oh, you told me about this before, yeah. Oops. I have not seen it before. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Oh, and that's what he got his name. What? He, like, he just went Clank? And I'll just call oh, you Clank for short. It would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city. Is, is that a boss? No, he's like bargaining to get the piece of the planet. Oh. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark Oh, so he's like, I want this part of the planet. He's like, no, you can't have it. He's like, oh, too bad, I'm taking it. 
Yeah. I don't think that's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you. I don't know why, but he, like. You have now officially worn out your. Why wouldn't you just slap that guy? Get out of my way. Just Maybe it's the huge ass bodyguard right behind him. Shh, come on. Why is a robot fat? <laughs> You're right. Like, kind of intimidating, like a fat body from Kingdom Hearts. Right. But if you can make him more intimidating and give him spikes and fire shooting And unreasonably lava. buff. Yeah, like, he doesn't have to be fat. He can be extreme. Oh, we fucked up. Oh. 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 Clank? Where are you? How did he survive that? Did he just crash a ship into the wall? Yeah. Well, and... we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. 